actually doing a PhD in cancer research, but uh, I flirted with a bunch of other things. I was thinking about uh, doing something maybe in economics and uh, maybe something like game theory. But apparently, having a PhD in game theory does not make you a player. <laughs> I was also thinking of uh, going into advertising, and uh, because a lot of creative people seem to work there. Well, some people say they're creative. I think they're just imagining things. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but uh, you know, like, uh, and I think most recently, I, I flirted with the idea of becoming a chef. But eventually I decided against it. Uh, I didn't want all of my hard work turned into shit. <laughs> but, you know, you know, it's it, it's alright. You know, like, I have this PhD in cancer research. It's very taxing though. It's taxing on my social life as well, on my dating life. Uh, it's hard to keep a relationship. I did briefly date this uh, abstinent girl. But uh, it didn't work out. She didn't give a fuck. So. <laughs> You know, sometimes I, I get to bored, like waiting for experiments and whatnot, and I like to imagine like new ideas of films and whatnot. And uh, uh, I like to imagine dystopias, for example, like the films in the in the future. And uh, my favorite idea is imagine a future where there's no more physical uh, standards of attractivity, uh, and everybody is just uh, based on their attraction on their mind and uh, their personality. But there's still a bunch of outcasts who are still superficial and. Uh, beautiful in the modern sense of the way, and they eventually rise up and uh, uh, put the revolution on against the people who are not superficial. It will be called bringing sexy back. <laughs> but uh, you know, like it is like being bored is one of the problems. But um, you know, at least I'm very aware of what my problems are. It's like that saying goes: is I have 99 problems, but quantifying my trouble into one. 